I kind of grew up in LA. I literally dragged myself through the mud to be able to be here now. My name's Dwayne. I'm from Spring, Texas, and I make music. My dad, he would just love music, and he would play me like the best rap shit that you can find in the South. Literally riding around in Houston in his Cadillac and jamming like the best screw tapes. Before I could really write my own stories, I used to just write their stories. I would write their lyrics on like a pad. And then when I got about 12 and 13, I just fell in love with it, started writing my own. I guess I first started to see music as what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I had to be 14. I pretty much stopped going to school, bro. Everything else became secondary to me. I was always kind of the different guy, and I figured that if any place will accept me, understand me, it must be where everybody else is. That's when I decided I had to be like 16, 17. You know, it was only like, I gotta get to the goal. I know where it is. I was working in Sharon Williams in Houston. And I was just like, maybe if I can get the same job in LA, I can make it happen. Like when I first got to LA, I was definitely on the side of people's houses sleeping in the car that we drove in. Like on Hollywood Boulevard, worst place to be for a young boy from Texas. Uh, it was shitty, bro. When we got here and we had nothing, I was definitely scared, but I wasn't going back. So I ended up getting another job at Taco Bell, which was rough. I had to like go through that blues, you know what I'm saying, to be able to be here now. Didn't tell my parents I was working two jobs trying to do this. I was always motivated. I missed Christmas the first three years I was here. I had no money. I, my mind was on something totally different. I was never not motivated, bro. My mom, my stepdad, my, everybody called me twice a week. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm good. I, those times made who I am 100%, bro. My homie G invited me to this party. I'm getting out of work, it's a New Year's Eve party, and that's where I meet my managers. I meet the first two people who changed my life and, and put me onto the scene and be like, I'm gonna give you a chance. We get into another team with the Madden Brothers. One of those moments where it's just like, this can only happen here. I saw it like come together at that moment for the first time, for sure. I was literally on my ass. You know what I'm saying? This is like, I got a chance now. I think if you truly love something, you truly want to be something, you truly feel like it's your calling, you'll go through whatever, bro. Whatever happens, never give up on yourself. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs>